All right, so to keep in context with the wing videos that I'm building, this is my friend George. Say hi, George. Hey and he is working on the fuselage, which uh, is a little bit bigger than what I've built so far, but uh, nevertheless, making some extreme progress. So I just kind of want to keep the series going that it doesn't end up just a wing series because I don't think George is documenting yours. <laughs> so here, here's the fill-in part. So tell us a little bit about some of the issues you had. I know you talked about the... Um, I don't even know what they're called. The Jigama yeah, wigs. <laughs> yeah, so there's these, uh, there's basically like these um, uh, U brackets and uh, the couple issues that I ran into was like the documentation really doesn't do a good job of describing whether these uh, U brackets should be tight against one another or not. Uh, similarly, like the bushings that you fabricate, it's unclear whether there should be any play in there or not. Um, uh, anyways, it sounds like it's supposed to just be snug. Um, these do have, these uh, nuts do have like nylon inserts, so. Um, it's a locking nut, yeah. It's a locking nut. I ended up ordering new, new ones just because like, um, in the process of fitting it, when I thought it was supposed to be snug, like tight, um, I ended up having to like bend these U brackets so I could tighten the, the nut on the other side and fit the. Gotcha. Um, the Maybe they're supposed to be loose, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of my first remote control helicopter when I thought the rotor blades were supposed to be totally stiff when <laughs> and I tightened the hell out of them just yeah. to unbalance them. So, so the, the, the point in time in which I realized that they're not supposed to be super tight is that um, ah. if, if you tighten it too much, the bolt will come through the nut gotcha. too much to make the pulley knot turn. All right. Um, and like the... The, basically the bolt is supposed to extend enough to be like almost like a cable guide to prevent the cable from popping. Totally out. makes sense. Yeah, now it all um, makes sense. So I'm going to yeah. redo this. Um, that's my project for this coming week. Gotcha. So we ordered a couple of new ones of these? Um, is that what you said? Yeah, I basically ordered the, the new uh, U-bracket on the bottom because mm -hmm. I ended up bending it a couple times thinking that and we uh, don't. When, I, when I unbent it <laughs> or when I straightened it out uh, so that way I could t tighten these together um, I bent them back again, and they used to have like more of a curved shape. Now yeah. they have more of a, a, a square gotcha. shape, and I was thinking that you know maybe it didn't have enough length uh, in that process. So rather uh, than uh, you know risk there being like any issues with like, fatigue the, on the metal from fatigue, bending, yeah. I know I know just my experience with aluminum. If you bend it two or three times, it breaks. So yeah, so yeah. I ordered new ones of those. Good call. Um, one of the guys on YouTube, they also. Uh, one one thing that looked pretty cool is like when these U brackets come originally, there's a bit of a curve in here. Somebody ended up using like the bushing material and uh, rounded them off to kind of fit them under the nut. Oh, the spacer! Yeah, I yeah. saw that. That's a so great idea. I, I ordered more sp uh, more of that bushing material so I can make some of those too. All right, so that sounds like the biggest headache. Any other uh, tips and tricks that you came across that? Uh, you would do differently or be like had to redo or anything like that? Not really. It looks um, freaking awesome. This is the first time I've seen this by the way, so this I, is pretty cool. I may end up um, just kind of looking at this Station Eleven here. Um, there is a little bit of um, uh, space in between oh, gotcha, yeah. in between here, so I'm kind of contemplating whether I... But once you put a ripple on, will it tighten it? Probably not enough. There's going to be a slight bend over here if, if you tighten it. Oh, I see. Um, so I'm, I'm probably gonna actually um, unrivet it enough so that way I can uh, straighten the flange. Gotcha. And this side I ended up riveting just to see what it looked like. And you can see that there is a little bit of a space there. Mm. It's not the worst, but uh, the, that, bottom, uh, that bottom part of the flange also, there is a little bit of, uh, like it's a, the holes don't line up perfectly. Gotcha. Um, so. I saw looking ahead that some people have issues with the skins not lining up here. I mean, we're not anywhere there yet, but that kind of reminds me of a smaller version of that. But man, it looks freaking awesome. I'm excited. This is so cool. The only other thing I um, messed up early on uh, was riveting, I think, one of the longer runs on maybe this side uh, too far forward. So oh, I off by one hole? Uh, I am, yeah, I undid uh, one or two. Um, on those, but gotcha. uh, the other thing I noticed too was like uh, it was pretty time consuming to deburr these yes. long runs. The long runs and the stringers needed to be. Yep. Uh, How do you deburr them with a little tool or do you just sand them? Um, 
on some of them, I ended up just using the little tool by hand. Mm -hmm. um, particularly like the stringers, it was fine to do that. Yep. Um, and then I, uh, on one of the long runs, I did it all by hand. And then the second one I, I used to, uh, in the drill. Yeah, I got a little adapter for the drill too that I just zip, zip over and then I do a little bit of sandpaper. I do have the, the hand crank one, but yeah, that's like yeah. very time consuming. Yep. Wow. Hey, what are your thoughts on, on rivets? I'm trying to figure out if they give you the exact amount of rivets. I know for some of the specific, like the oversized rivets that I had for the uh, hinges, it was the exact amount. But then on my section, the tail wing, tail feathers as they call it, it was uh, the 42s I was short on, and I don't think I messed up anywhere, and the 41s I have tons extra. Have you come to any section that you've completed where no. you can figure out if... Uh, yeah, because they're they're going to be used quite a bit more. Um, I forget which ones. I think it's the forty ones that are used. Yeah, for the either the forty twos or forty ones are used for the longer runs. Okay. Um, oh, this so, is thicker, so yeah, depending on what it calls for. So yeah. it's got you know still all those to go in um, before I really know. All right. Uh, and then there's also like the fabrication of um, uh, the angle. Um, you have to cut all those. I know you have to cut these. Yeah, there'll be some more, there's basically like an insert that goes in between the long runs and the side skins. Uh, um, oh, the, it, it kind of comes out like this? Yep. Yep, I saw yep, that. Those okay. are the pieces right there. Oh yeah, here we go. That's very good. Are you getting the, uh, you taking all the stickers off as you go along? Yep. It's nice, they come off easy. I had two or three pieces that must be left over from another Rand's design where the sticker was so dried on, I couldn't get it off. Had, yeah, on this <laughs> bottom skin, I had a little bit of an issue with it not coming off, and I just used the goo gone. Yep. Um, to get rid of. And then I ordered, um, I ordered some, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, some of the stuff to, to basically remove the print on the, the outside. I think rubbing outside. alcohol just does that primarily. Just doing cool camera effects here. <laughs> We're not gonna fit through this one. <laughs> See if the camera's even still running. Yeah, it is. All right, so that looks really, really cool. And Again, I circled a couple, there's a couple of rivets I'm gonna redo, so I just circled them along the way. How do you go about redoing them? Drill Punch them out. them out and drill them? Yep. I drill it out, yep. Wow, that's great. All right, well, I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I did have like kind of an issue with like one of the I think bushings uh, um, here too, similar to like the the bushing that you ran into on what was it the elevator, uh, like in terms of the bolt not fitting like. Oh yeah, so the the, the reason, uh, yeah, it's funny because I oh did you see my post? Yeah. Is that, okay, I was gonna say I just did that last night. So what happens on the elevator? You you have to push them in. Uh, the the flan the bronze flange bushing into the elevator hinge thingy, and you have to do it on the rudder too. It's uh, yeah. but um, by compressing them in, if you push them too hard, it minimizes the hole on the inside to make the bolt really tight to get through. Okay. So you just kind of clear you, them up. If you want, I have an armor press to. No, I I, I um, by the time I did the elevator, I was aware of that and I pushed it very lightly, but nevertheless, it's actually loose enough that I can thread the bolt in by hand, okay. but in that little cavity, it would be probably a half a day's worth of work to get one of four bolts in, if I can even do it. So I just yeah. wanted to clean it out a little bit. And Eddie had um, um, responded and said, just use like a little little file to try and clear it out. Now that's my first attempt, that's tonight's project. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things. I I knew it going into it and forgot about it. <laughs> but wow, this is very exciting. The tables are similar to the ones uh, I have. Two times sixteen or yeah, two times eight foot, so a total of sixteen. I put the wheels on it. Yeah, nice. So. These are nicer. He's got the real four by fours and the finished plywood on top. I got. Uh, and I ended up. Uh, these are pretty easy. Where it's like, you know. Put them on the inside so you're not tripping over them. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, then you can just wheel them around. Yeah, that is cool. So, yeah, for anybody building tables, I think this is a good size, as you can see. Obviously, I've done the wings on mine, and he has no issues with the, uh, the fuselage, including the cage. And if we put the motor on it, it might fall off, but hopefully we'll be on wheels by then. <laughs> anyway, awesome. Thank you.